Loving unconditionally is literally the hardest work we will ever do in relationships. Hi, I'm Sharon Pope. I'm the love and relationship coach for women who are struggling in their disconnected marriages and seeking the confidence and clarity that they need to know whether they should stay or go. Today, what we're going to be talking about is what it means to love unconditionally, because there is a nuance about unconditional love that most people miss that I want to share with you. If you like what you hear on this channel or in this particular video, I hope you'll subscribe. Today, what we're talking about is unconditional love, and I want to address what it means and what it doesn't mean. I posted something on Facebook recently and um, a couple of my clients engaged with it. One said, is there really any such thing as unconditional love? And someone else you know, said, yes, there is, and here's the reasons why. And then the other person came back and said, maybe you can love unconditionally, but that doesn't mean that there are unconditional consequences. And I was like, yes, that is what I'm talking about. So we can practice unconditional love, or at least we think we can really well with our kids because there's nothing that they could do, at least until they become teenagers that would make us not love them in the moment. But practicing unconditional love with our closest, most intimate partner or our spouse, that's a whole nother ball game. So here's what usually happens. When you are kind and loving towards me, I will be kind and loving towards you. And when you are not kind and loving towards me, I am going to take that light away from you and I'm not going to show you kindness or love. So that's a condition. When you show me love, I'll show it to you in return. But that then requires that other person to be steady enough to always be showing you love and we all know how that goes, right? I think it's incredibly hard to be loving towards someone who isn't loving towards you. I'm not gonna say that that's easy stuff, but here's the truth. You can be loving towards someone who isn't loving towards you. You can make that choice to do that. That's just a choice. You can be loving because it's your true nature to love. And if you genuinely care about how you feel as you move through your day, you can be loving towards someone because loving feels better than being hateful towards someone. Even if they're being hateful towards you, even if you feel completely justified, that judgment, that hatefulness is not going to feel good. So you can actually choose to be loving towards someone, even if they're not being loving towards you. So that's one piece. However, it does not mean, unconditional love does not mean eating shit with a spoon, okay? It does not mean overlooking bad behavior. It does not mean allowing someone to overstep boundaries or be disrespectful to you. It doesn't mean that when someone's up in your face and yelling at you or something, that that's okay. That's not what I'm saying about unconditional love. And this is the nuance that I really want you to get. And that is that you can love unconditionally, but that does not mean that there are no circumstances to those people's choices about what they're doing. So if every adult gets to do whatever they want to do, the other truth about that is that that person also gets to live with the outcomes of their choices. They get to live with the circumstances that are a result of the choices that they made. So it doesn't mean that you have to remain in a relationship. Like unconditional love isn't overlook decades of bad behavior or hurtful behavior and just stay in the relationship and try to convince yourself that um, it's all okay. Cause that's not okay. That's not honoring you. And truly unconditional love has to begin here first. It has to begin with you first. Then you can share it with somebody else. But the nuance that's so important that I genuinely want you to get is that you can love unconditionally, but it does not mean that there are no ramifications or circumstances that are an outcome to those choices and that you don't have to remain in a bad relationship 
and then say that you are not capable of loving unconditionally. Sometimes you have to love people unconditionally, but now you have to set new boundaries. And sometimes those boundaries you set might be a little further away than what that other person might want. But it was very likely a result of the choices and decisions and actions that they took in terms of being in relationship with you. So you can practice unconditional love. You actually can. It's a choice. It is the hardest thing we will ever do. And we will be challenged with it every single day of our lives as long as we are in relationship with other people. But unconditional love is not the same as unconditional circumstances. You can still choose to love someone and set new boundaries. You can choose to love someone and not even be in relationship with them anymore. And you do that for yourself because loving will always feel better than hating. I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope it gave you something else to think about in terms of how to show up differently inside your most intimate relationships. If you liked what you heard, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified when I publish a new video, just click the red bell in the upper right corner. If you would like to explore working with me directly as a private client, there is a link in the notes field under this video where you can link out and um, fill out the application to see if there's a fit for us to take that next step together. Take good care.